Hi, everyone. I'm Luis Sosa, a security specialist customer engineer. And I'm Daniela Serpa, also a customer engineer. And we both work here at Google Cloud. Welcome back to the technical series for startups, where we are creating a series of videos for technical enablement to help startups to start, build, and grow their businesses successfully and sustainably on Google Cloud. Last time, we saw how to modernize hybrid connectivity networking using Anthos. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the healthcare and life sciences side of things here on Google Cloud. We'll start by looking at how Google Cloud can accelerate success for healthcare startups. Then we'll go over the healthcare API, then we'll get into some depth to understand how to use the healthcare API to store, de-identify, and draw insights from your health data. Then we'll go over a demonstration of the natural language API. And finally, end the session with understanding how one of our customers benefited from using Google Cloud Solutions. And now, without any further ado, let's get into the video. At Google Cloud, we are working to accelerate every healthcare and life sciences organization's ability to digitally transform and reimagine their business through data-powered innovation. Google Cloud is uniquely positioned to solve your toughest digital health challenges with products and solutions that speak healthcare data formats and have healthcare and security compliance built in. We embed our advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities to help you gain insights from clinical data, accelerate research, and provide seamless patient and customer experience. Google Cloud helps you address security and compliance by offering secure by design infrastructure, built-in safeguards, comprehensive identity management, network security, threat detection, and response capabilities. We layer healthcare-specific security and compliance solutions on top of Google Cloud's best-in-class infrastructure. Google Cloud, Cloud Healthcare API, and Google Workspace all support HIPAA compliance and are in scope for all of the industry standards that you can see on screen. For more information, please go to cloud.google.com forward slash security forward slash compliance. Healthcare API is a versatile healthcare data management product portfolio supporting standards such as HL7v2, DCOM, and FHIR. It's completely serverless, meaning that you can focus on your data while we handle the underlying hardware and scaling. It's easy to use through its REST and Node.js interfaces and is fully compliant with healthcare standards such as HIPAA, HIPTRA CSF, and GDPR. Moreover, the Healthcare API is highly compatible with other GCP services like the NLP API, machine learning and AI services, web and mobile apps, analytics, and more. DICOM Store, Firestore, and Vertex AI are three powerful tools that can be used together to help healthcare organizations more effectively manage and analyze medical data. Let's start with DICOM Store. DICOM Store is a cloud-based platform that allows healthcare providers to securely store, manage, and exchange medical images in a standard format. Firestore complements DICOM Storage by offering compliance storage for your structured medical data. These two storage options enable healthcare professionals to easily access and share that data across different systems and institutions. Vertex AI, on the other hand, is a cloud-based platform that provides tools for building, training, and deploying machine learning models. By integrating DICOM and Firestore with Vertex AI, Healthcare organizations can use machine learning to analyze large volumes of medical data and identify patterns and anomalies. This can help healthcare professionals make more accurate and timely diagnoses, improve patient outcomes, and reduce costs. Compliance storage is just one piece of the equation, however. As a healthcare startup, you're probably concerned about data exfiltration risks or even the implications of using PII in your machine learning models. That's why we offer Healthcare DID, which is based off of our Data Loss Prevention API. Healthcare DID helps researchers, data scientists, and IT teams using Firestore or DICOM Store to remove or modify PII and PHI from clinical data. De-identifying medical data helps protect patient privacy and prepare data for use in research, data sharing, and machine learning. Let's piece it all together with a quick demo. So this is our demo architecture, and as you can see, we have a variety of clinical data that we are going to be passing and storing in a Firestore within Healthcare API. Uh, we will be showing how to use the healthcare DID service in order to de-identify some of these data. And we'll also be showing how to link 
uh, your Firestore with PubSub in order to get real-time data notifications, and Google BigQuery in order to perform further data analytics. Let's jump right in. You don't have to go record by record when using the Healthcare DID service. You can instead use the REST API to secure an entire Fire dataset. This way, you can keep your PII up to date and separate from your non-PII datasets. All right, so let's dive right in. For this demonstration, I'm going to showcase how to use Healthcare API to create and view Fire data so that's as well as export them to BigQuery and de-identify them using Healthcare DID. So first step would be to go um, onto the Healthcare API. If it's your first time using it, it might ask you to enable the API, in which case you'll say yes, and you'll be greeted with a screen. Um, the first step to creating your uh, data store is to first create a data set. So think of a data set as an organizational tool. It'll just help you group a variety of data stores and then each data store can be of different types. So it can be a Fire data store and a DICOM data store within the same data set. To create a data set, all you need to do is click Create Data Set and specify a name and a region. So it's fairly straightforward. And then once that data set is created, you can um, click onto it and then click Create Data Store to then create the actual um, data store where, where your healthcare information will be stored. So you'll be you'll see that you first have to select a type. Um, in my case, I selected fire. Um, let's just type test as a an ID. And depending obviously on the type, the options here will be different, but you can see you can select different versions. Um, there's some advanced settings here. And more importantly, you have the option to stream to um, stream any changes to BigQuery which I will showcase um, later in this demo, as well as receive Cloud PubSub notifications whenever there are any modifications to this um, data store. This can be really helpful to trigger downstream events that um, modify all other cloud resources that you may have. So once you review all these configurations, you would click Create. Since I've already done this, I'm just going to go ahead and click Cancel. Let's first go into our Firestore. So this is the non-de-identified Firestore. Um, as you can see, you'll see some metrics regarding, you know, the uh, resource types and the number of resources that are that fall under each type. Um, if you want more detailed view, you can also use the Fire Viewer. This is only available um, for Fire data stores, so you won't be able to get this level of granularity with, let's say, .com. But it's a very powerful tool because it allows you to view all the different resources. So in my case, I wanted to limit it to patients. Um, and yeah, in just one glance, you can see all the different patients that um, are available in this data store. And I can even go further in and click on elements or JSON in order to see their specific attributes. Moreover, I can even go on to search and either type a query here used to save template, sorry, used to save template here that I already have, which for example, Spanish speaking patients, which is the one I've used here. Um, and you'll see that I have two Spanish speaking patients within my data set, or uh, you can even use Query Builder, which will help you build um, your query without necessarily having to learn and use the syntax, right? You say, okay, this is the parameter I want to filter for, this is the modifier I want, and this is the value I want to match to. Um, so again, this can be a really powerful tool to get a, a first sense of your data and uh, also search for specific patients or specific records that you want to locate. Now let's take a look at Healthcare DID. So in order to de-identify this data set, all we have to do is go back to um, the data store that we want to de-identify and then go all the way to the right, select Actions and de-identify. And then it's as simple as selecting our target, so where we want to save the de-identified data to, and then clicking de-identify. Once again, I've already done this, so I'm not actually going to click it, but it really is just that simple. We can take a look at the results by going back into the Fire Viewer and selecting our DID. And we can see that all of these um, uh, PII have been successfully redacted from um, the records. Now, depending on your use case, you may have a need for a stronger big 
a data tool such as BigQuery, or perhaps you might want to run some machine learning models using BQML on the data stored in your Firestore. In order to do this, we need to export the data from Firestore into BigQuery. The command to do this is shown below. So as you can see, it's gcloud beta healthcare Firestores export BigQuery. And then you uh, provide the following information regarding the location and the identifiers for the data set. And um, this command will export the data from Firestore into BigQuery. Once again, I've already done this in advance, so we'll just go straight into BigQuery and we'll be able to take a look at our two data sets. All right, so now that we're in BigQuery, we can take a look at our first, let's take a look at our non-de-identified data. We're going to query specifically the patient entities, but as you can see, the export exported all kinds of entities we have available. And um, a quick look at our patients um, can tell us that they're obviously not de-identified. We can tell their given name and their family. Now, if we run the same query, but for the DID data set, um, we can see that their given name and their family name has been completely um, purged from the data set. So this can be, healthcare DID can be a helpful tool to um, prevent leakage or data exfiltration of sensitive PII and leverage BigQuery's um, extensive big data capabilities. One last feature I'd like to showcase is automated BigQuery exports. When you're creating a Fire data store, you're able to configure a specific data set on the BigQuery side to automatically export whenever the matching Fire store is updated. Um, and we can see this behavior live. So this query that I've crafted looks for a patient whose last name is Mitchell. As we can see, when I run this query, there will be no data to display, meaning there's no patient. No, there's no patient that matches these conditions. Now, using the REST API, we can create such a patient um, on the Firestore side of things. So we can see here that I'm creating a patient called Elena Mitchell. So let's submit that query. And it's been successful. So we've created the patient on the healthcare API side of things. Yet, if we click run here on the BigQuery side of things, we can see that Elena has successfully been exported in real time to BigQuery. This, is, this export is blazing fast and can be a great tool um, to help you with your analytic pipelines. And that's it for this demo. While Fire and Dicom stores are a big part of what makes healthcare API, there's also the natural language side of things. I'll let Danny take over that demo. Outside of our various data stores, you can also use the Healthcare Natural Language API to automatically parse unstructured medical texts, such as medical records or insurance claims. The API then generates a structured data representation of the medical knowledge entities stored in these data sources for downstream analysis and automation. Using the API, you can do things such as extract information about medical concepts like diseases, medications, medical devices, procedures, and their clinically relevant attributes. You can also map medical record um, concepts to standard medical vocabulary such as Rx norm, ICD-10, MeSH, and more. You'll also be able to derive medical insights from text and integrate them with data analytics products in Google Cloud. Now let's take a look at how one of our customers, Vida Health, benefited from using Google Cloud Solutions. Vida Health is a healthcare startup that saw a cloud platform that could provide scalability, cost effectiveness, and advanced data analytics capabilities to support their mission for delivering comprehensive, personalized healthcare. Vida Health's virtual healthcare platform is designed to deliver whole person healthcare by treating multiple conditions and integrating both mind and body medicine. By adopting Google Cloud, Vida Health was able to significantly reduce costs, achieving a 60% reduction by switching from a managed platform to Google Kubernetes Engine, also known as GKE. They also gained access to Google's powerful machine learning tools, including BigQuery ML, which enabled them to develop innovative products that can improve patient outcomes. Vida Health's platform utilizes a range of Google Cloud solutions, including Looker, BigQuery, BigQuery ML. 
Looker provides a unified dashboard view, allowing them to aggregate patient data and gain a holistic understanding of each individual's health status. BigQuery serves as their data warehouse, storing and analyzing vast amounts of patient data, while BigQuery ML enables them to build AI models without extensive coding expertise. This combination of tools powers Vida Health to extract valuable insights from their data and deliver personalized healthcare. If you're interested in learning more, please click on the links in the description where you'll be able to read up more on Google Cloud for Healthcare and Life Science Solutions, check out our Healthcare and Life Sciences blog, and get hands-on with a platform by trying step-by-step -step guides and tutorials. And please reach out and get connected to learn more. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to get notified each time a new video is posted. Hang tight, and we'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye-bye.